In this video, how to diagnose a fault or break in Mercedes-Benz Most Bus is shown. The Most Bus is the communication bus for entertainment modules in Mercedes-Benz vehicles. When the Most Bus ring fails or a module doesn't relay the message, the other modules on the bus can fail to function correctly. Our subject vehicle had the following fault codes present. U1100, Most Master Open. U1102, most component at position 1 reports open ring. U1104, most component at position 4 reports open ring. U1105, most component at position 5 reports open ring. The fault codes have information that can help isolate the possible component or location of the open in the ring. For example, with our subject vehicle, component 1, 2, 4, and 5 are reporting the open. The first step would be to identify all components and their corresponding positions on the most bus ring. Begin by identifying the vehicle you're working on. Select Information and Comms. Select Audio, Video, Navigation, Telematics. The control modules in each slot will be checked. On our subject vehicle, each component position is identified. Audio Master, AGW Audio Gateway, Component 1, Voice Control System. Component 2, Navigation Processor. Component 3, CD Changer. Component 4 is skipped and does not show up. Component 5, Command or Audio. Component 6, Sound System. Select Actual Values. Select Actual Configuration of Most Components. Actual configuration of most components is the pre-programmed fiber optic ring order set by the factory. Unless any after-sales components have been retrofitted, this list should determine the ring order and prepare you for which modules have communication and what the last node to receive the wake-up command would be. Consider this a roll call. Once the roll call is complete, identify the components noted as vacant in red text. These components are expected to be present indicated by the specified value configuration. When highlighted in red, they did not communicate during the roll call. Components listed vacant with black text are not fitted to the vehicle. On our subject vehicle, we had one vacant slot with red text and three components with red text. The vacant slot is component expected to be on bus but not present. The components in red denote out of order but present components. This happens when a component in the roll call doesn't communicate. The missing component here is the navigation unit, which caused the order reshuffle of the present components. With this information, we know to begin our testing at the navigation unit. Gain access to the CD changer and navigation unit. Turn the key on and the radio on. Locate the most bus connector at the navigation module. Press the tab and pull the most connector straight out of the navigation module. Check the most connector for a red light. This indicates the most bus light is getting to the navigation module. To check if the navigation module is the module not relaying the data, reconnect the connector. Then, working at the CD changer, press the tab and pull the most connector straight out of the CD changer. Check the most connector for a red light. No red light is present on subject vehicle. This means the navigation module is not relaying the data. Press the tab and pull the most connector straight out of the navigation module. Then, disassemble the most bus connector. Release the plastic tabs and separate the connector. Press the blue retainer and pull out of housing. Release the plastic tabs to unlock the most fiber optic cables. Pull straight out while holding tabs. Install a most bus test loop in place of the module. Turn the key off, wait 30 seconds, then turn it back on. Turn the radio on. Working at the back of the CD connector, Working back at the CD changer connector, check if the red light is now present. If it is, the navigation module is likely faulty. 
Confirm power and ground to the navigation module are present. If so, the module should be replaced. A quick test for hard to access fiber optic cables is to use a laser to shoot light from one end to the other of the cable. This test can be used to test the integrity of a cable that runs through the interior of a vehicle. Disconnect the cable at both ends. Next, shoot laser into the fiber optic cable. The laser will be seen as a red light at the other side of that leg in the fiber optic cable. This test can confirm the integrity of the cable from one component to the next.